McCarthy's in the midfield with, with Tom Lehiff up into wing half forward on Patrick Cassidy. So there we go. Looking forward to this. Great atmosphere around the city and county of Derry. This is one that they have been looking forward to. And away with uh, James McCarthy. Ball breaks down far as Brian Fenton on Merchant. who had difficulties with his finger, actually. It seemed to dislocate it just before the game started. Needed that... Uh, Bit of medical attention, as we all dread when we're all playing football once upon a time. It's quite painful, but he's able to continue, thankfully. Mick Fitzsimons playing it, uh, in this team, giving it out towards Davy Byrne, two of the players that have been drafted in last minute by Desi Farrell. Comes back again for his Mick Fitzsimons, laying it off for his Brian Fenton. Fenton with Merchant, laying it off over for his Kieran Kilkenny. Nice ball inside. There's a chance for Cormac Costello. And Dublin have combined nicely to open up their account here, far away from home. Really nice score. Typical Dublin, much more composed and patient than maybe some of the other teams Derry have played. And again, that's going to be the challenge for Derry. And that time, Cormac Costello, he held his run tight, tight along the end line, giving the room for the pop pass. Oren Lynch going to take his first kick out of the afternoon here from Mahara Felt. Goes for distance. I think the panel were hoping for long kickouts. We've got one here at least. But the ball is in the middle. Fed back for his big Brian Fenton. Kieran Kilkenny has this ability to compose himself and lay it off. Here's Conor Callahan. Huge loss at last year's All Ireland semi final. James McCarthy laying it off quickly. And Dublin happy to recycle it back for his. Michael Fitzsimons, who's given incredible service to his county for so many years. John Small is wearing six, but playing at right half back. Lee Gannon, one of the newcomers from last year, very impressive player from Whitehall, Cullum Kills. Owen Merchant, Nafina, giving it into the centre towards Tom Lahif. Lahif goes forward, he needs the run, he finally gets the run. James McCarthy was the player that he was aiming for, Davy Byrne was the player that was making the run. McCarthy step inside, there's uh, Davy Byrne. James McCarthy has gone for the return pass and it rolls across the face of the goal. And Dublin have started brightly and confidently. And the Derry crowd getting behind Niall Lachlan. As Derry needs to settle, Connor Glass is there. Sprays the ball over towards Connor Doherty from Newbridge. Paddy Cassidy makes himself available in front of our commentary position along the sideline here. That option now seems to be blocked. There's Paddy at the bottom of your TV screen. Now makes the run. Ethan Doherty had a great campaign with Glenn. All the way to the All-Ireland final. It's a good ball inside to Shane McGregor. Stock Neal and Glenn. Great rivals in this great footballing county of Derry. Near neighbours as well. Giving it into the centre to Brendan Rogers. His surging runs from full back last year was a feature. Now wearing number nine. In fact, that Owen McAvoy has done so well. Connor Glass, All Star 2022. Ethan Doherty. Two Glen boys combining, looking around and happy to recycle it. Cody Cassidy. Ethan Doherty. Back over first, Chrissy McKay. Brendan Rogers. Connor Doherty. Gave it a little shimmy, decided to retain the possession. Connor McCluskey, like his goalkeeper from Mara Felt, Paddy Cassidy now, passing to Dublin 45, giving it back for Ethan Doherty. They're waiting around the square, but there's no dropping ball, there's no long ball going in. And Dublin have the central channels blocked in the middle, so we're back to playing lateral football here for the moment. Rogers, right beside him is Connor McCluskey. There's a little bit of space. Laying it off, little dummy, lovely, Paul Cassidy getting inside, making an angle, and that's a great score. It was a long, long build-up, but you know what? The people at Derry will be happy to wait for it when you have a final finish from Paul Cassidy. Brilliant score by Derry. You could see Dublin were really switched on. They were working really hard on watching the overlaps. Derry kept patient and patient and patient, and then it was a brilliant turn by Paul Cassidy uh, to, to open up the space for the shot. Kieran Kilkenny. Ball into the centre towards John Small. 
has the time to uh, look around and enjoy the view of Celtic Park. Owen Merchant. Kieran Kilkenny. Has a go and sends it to the left and white. Well, right and white to be very precise, which is not normal for Kieran. Oren Lynch made his name as an outfield player in his underage days, but under Rory Gallagher has very much become first choice keeper over the last uh, few seasons. Again, he's going for distance. Breaking ball, John Small is there. He leaves it to Lee Gannon. Old Merchant wasn't quite expecting it. Davy Byrne, Kieran Kilkenny. Lee Gannon makes a run. Goes for the middle pass, in first Brian Fenton. All of Derry now behind the ball, as you can see. Lee Gannon again. Brian Fenton. Six times an all Ireland medalist. Over towards Big Fit Simons. Kieran Kilkenny. Brian Fenton. Has the confidence. It comes back off the crossbar and the white flag is raised. The only question here is do we credit Brian Fenton or do we credit the in rushing player? Here it was dropping in and it dropped in. There was a little yeah, touch, I think. Was from Cormac Costello, so I think Cormac has to get, get the uh, his second point of the game. Both teams setting up very, very similarly, which is, I suppose, what, what we've come to expect. Uh, that's what goal we've done against Derry so successfully in last year's championship. Uh, so chances are going to be few and far between, and they're going to take really good bits of quality to get the scores. We've seen it from Paul or Cormac Costello with his first point. We've seen it uh, with that long-range effort, although it, it needed the help in hand, and Cassidy's excellent turn for his. So it's going to be those wee glimpses of quality to get the scores. Ethan Doherty. Rogers makes himself available. Back again to Ethan Doherty. Porig McGrogan is wearing six from Newbridge, like his right half back, Connor Doherty. Connor McCluskey in his breakthrough last season. Ethan Doherty, just to emphasize, like I highlighted a moment ago, every Dublin player now inside their own 45 meter line. Only Oren Lynch, Derry goalkeeper, is inside as Derry go on the attack. And after all of that, it's a wide ball. That is. The first wide of the game. Being a nicely open chance, and, and Patrick Cassidy was well within his right to take that shot. It was a good shooting opportunity, it just tailed wide at the end. Dublin probably dominating so far in terms of the longer kickouts. David O'Hanlon with the kick out. Easily got it by Brendan Rogers. Pays it off to Ethan Doherty. Trying to open up this Dublin. Defence with a quick ball. Niall Lachlan. Nick Fitzsimons was seemed to be fouling. There's a free in for Derry. Close enough to the 20 metre line. A little bit soft under, was it? Yeah, I think he's, he's Sean Hurston seemed to demonstrate like a, a slap to the face. Wasn't hugely much in it, certainly the player himself didn't seem to be calling it, but I was given think, nonetheless. Yeah, I think in hindsight it might have been a previous three and he was given the advantage because there didn't seem to be anything in that particular replay. As Niall Turner takes the free. And that is going to the wrong side of the post. Disappointment for Derry. And for Rory Gallagher. Yeah, Paul, and obviously they That'll be key for both teams. If you do win a, a kick out free in the middle, as Brenton Rogers done that last time, both teams will be keen to exploit that and attack very, very fast off it. Otherwise, for the large part, until this, until a team gets into a good position in the game, we are going to be looking at more patient attacks. Oh, great catch. Great fielding. Con O'Callaghan. Not Brian Fenton, which is normal. 
almost stopped Davy Burns' pass, but as a result, he gets the rebound. And what about a response as the ball is dropping in? Easily got a referee, clearly indicating that Dublin were fouling. Looks like Dean Rock is uh, the player that was deemed guilty by the referee, Sean Hurston. Paddy Cassidy. A groin injury in the past has hampered his uh, football, but he came on against Monaghan last year and has now established himself at number seven. Ulster under 20 winning captain back in, back in 2018. That's Connor Glass. Calling for his own McAvoy. I saw him against Limerick and down the road in Owen Beg, and I thought he was very, very good. And, uh, I can see why Rory Gallagher is playing him. There he is again, getting a touch. Shane McGregor gives it into the centre to Connor Glass. Good running off the shoulder over first. Chrissy McKay is in a good position to have a go. Chrissy has sent it wide. That's three really scoring chances there in a row uh, that, that there they've missed Father Cassidy the free kick from Niall Auckland and, and there from Chrissy McKaig all actually coming left side of the post here and it's not as if I don't I certainly didn't experience much wind when we were coming into the ground today so they will be disappointed all scoreable all missed James McCarthy He's 33 years of age later on this month that's once again, Dublin are happy to recycle it back out for his own merchant. John Small. Ryan Fenton. Conductor of the orchestra, no matter where he is. They very much uh, rely on his going forward, surging forward from midfield as well as his high fielding. Davy Byrne. Opportunity is going to be taken. That is a really, really good score, and it's Lee Gannon. I saw him score two points last year against Kildare in the championship. He's not just a tight-marking defender, he's able to score as well. Yeah, absolutely lovely point, and there he drops off so, so deep there. Like that, He was within the scoring arc there where he took that shot, and yet a Derry player was a good 10 metres beyond that. So Rory Geller will be frustrated that they're sitting so, so deep because uh, otherwise they, they had Dublin well enough shut off but he can't drop that deep and offer us scoring opportunities Owen McAvoy Porig McGrogan Connor McCluskey Ulster under 21 medalist a few seasons ago Christy McKay dual star with club and county Orrin Lynch, McAvoy, confident player, establishing himself in the team in 2023. Good ball inside from Ethan Doherty, nice turn by McGuigan. Poig McGrogan, calls for it. Again, the umpires are having their own game behind the goal post there, slipping and sliding <laughs> in their rush to get to the flag. But that's the third wide of the game for uh, fourth wide of the game for Derry. Yeah, Father Morgan has had a superb season for Derry so far. Uh, filling in Gareth McKinless obviously was their centre half back and a massive figure for them last year. He's come in there and, and flying, but will be disappointed with that shot and again. Derry need to settle, they need their next score. James McCarthy. Sending the ball in. Referee, I think, noted the infringement. Home crowd didn't quite like it as it comes back out past Kieran Kilkenny. Heading towards the 20 metre line, Brian Fenton is operating down here in this wing. Mickford Simons, Owen Merchant, two of the four changes that Desi Farrell introduced before the game. And here's Lee Gannon, he scored from around that same area a moment ago. Here's Conor Callan. Class act every time I see him play. That's his first score in this Allianz League clash here in Celtic Park in Derry. Again, that far wing really, really underprotected, you'd have to say. Derry were slow to get over and, and to try and get pushing Dublin back out that side. And again, real frustration for Derry. On the one side, they're missing their chances, and on the other, Dublin have, have taken their last two. When you look around at our camera there behind the goalpost, there aren't too many options, to be honest. 
for Oren Lynch. So he has to go long. That's good play by by uh, Dublin, and they're pushing up. Yeah, absolutely. They're they're pushing up, going on a on a straightforward man-to-man -man battle. They uh, Derry have won that one on, on on a free kick, but again, Derry. Derry have had five attacks in this game so far. Every time they've managed to get off a shot, that's brilliant. That shows everything's working, and them shots are largely from good shooting positions. Maybe McGrogan's the last time was a wee bit far out, but five attacks, five shots, that's brilliant. They just need to get hitting the target. Would you be patient? I know you're the former Antrim manager, but would you be encouraging players to have a go despite the fact that they're missing with your that positive approach? Uh, in a game, for, for me in a game like this, 4-1 down, Dublin have got it, it's key that they try to get the score, so you nearly need to be a wee bit more secure. You've got your shooters on the pitch who will shoot from different positions and people that are more are, are less likely to score. So it's boys backing themselves whenever the chance arises. You're not going to get a guilt edge chance. You're not going to get a massive opening. Dublin's not going to give you that. But when the chance comes, you still have to back yourself. Just a ticking there by uh, Sean Hurston, the match referee. And it's, it's now that you need your key men, your Shane McGuigans, to step up, get the steady and score. Had an outstanding season in the championship last year. And he steadies the ship. As Enda said, when you get your key men on the ball, they've got to step up to the mark and up to the plate, and Shane McGuigan did that. That will give them a little bit of confidence. Absolutely, and interesting. That was Niall, Niall McLaughlin's side, really. But Shane McGuigan there, their top man, their top forward, stood up, got the score. Fine kick out by David O'Hanlon, found Dara Newcomb. This is James McCarthy. Little chink inside. Giving it back out towards Lee Gannon, J.V. Byrne. Owen Merchant to John Small. Brian Fenton. Taking up residence down this side of the field. Taking on Brendan Rogers. Still Brian Fenton, and that is over the bar. Interesting that he's continuing to reside. He's only taking up residence down there, ended down in that corner. He is, he's definitely he's holding this right flank. Good battle of him running in there, but again, nice settle score. Dublin, in terms of their, their composure and attack, has been very, very good. They got lost one time when if, I can't mind who it was, but he broke free and suddenly got surrounded by four dairy players. But other than that, they've been the Dublin of old, really patient, and by and large, taking good uh, shooting opportunities. Connor McCluskey. Owen McAvoy. Porig McGrogan. Back far is Paddy Cassidy. You can see here Dublin are holding a much higher line. So the last several attacks we've seen Dublin get right inside the 45 yard line where they're trying to work the opening. Here Derry are struggling to get in near that 45 yard line. Dublin are holding a much higher line than what Derry are facing them with. Derry had advantage momentarily for off the ball, Sean Hurston has his arm down again, that's the referee. Paddy Cassidy. Under pressure from Lee Gannett. Christian McKay. Dublin, as Ender just pointed out, pushing forward almost to their own 65 metre line, not allowing them to get even closer. And one senses that if they got one breaking ball, one counter attack, Derry could be in trouble and be exposed. So Derry have to retain the possession. This is good. Looking for this Brendan Rogers. Connor Glass, immediate to his left. Connor is directing the traffic, sending it back to Christian McCaig. Ethan Doherty. Stepping just barely. Oops. Good recovery by Corey McGrogan. McGrogan has done well. What? Oh, two. What a tackle is right. Great defending by Dublin. And the counter-attack that I was mentioning is now on. Realistically, Larkin O'Dell, goalkeeper, is on his motorbike back to the goalpost fast. Kieran Kilkenny, but Derry are back there in numbers, so the danger is averted as they recycle it. Lee Gannon, Dean Rock, to John Small, <laughs> Brian Fenton in a more central position. The man is on fire. It's his second point. He just looks so much at ease with possession. He's able to make the space. Look at it here. He got away from Conor Gasson. 
Connor Glass pulled the brakes, put it over the bar. Good score. Brilliant, brilliant score. Really high quality bit of play. Carmen Costello, remarkably, that's Dublin's first. That's the first time Derry have been turned over when they've been attacking. Brilliant attacking by, by Karma Costello because Derry's attack full of quality. They were doing the right thing. Dublin were pushing them out, but they were holding the ball. But then when Dublin got that turnover for the first time in the game, they launched up the pitch serious speed and Brian Fenton uh, produced a great finish. I love the way you say Costello. When we say Costello, love it, Ender. <laughs> anyway, it's Kieran Kilkenny. Back out for us, Lee Gannon. James McCarthy. John Small is calling for it. Mick Fitzsimons is available down the right sideline here. This is Mick. Full back. Extraordinaire so many times in the past. He can do the marking job. Davy Byrne over to Larkin O'Dell. I saw him play a few league games. I certainly saw him play in the championship with uh, Timberlo Sing Street. He's, he's a good wing forward. Getting another run, another opportunity. Davy Byrne has nothing to prove. He's done it all before. Just needs that all-star to collect, to uh, complete the collection. Tom Laheef. Again, Derry sitting so deep. He's done well, this lad, Dara Newcomb. Uh, it's my first time seeing him. He's from Luke and he's played in all the games. He's really, he's a fine young talent. Yeah, fine young talent. I think he's got a couple of scores as well. He, he's, he's done very well. I haven't seen him do much wrong at all. So again, it's those wee fines that always are, are very important for, for managers. Davy Byrne, Tom Laheef. Again, let me point out that only goalkeeper David O'Hanlon is inside his half of the field, inside his own 65. So this game being played primarily in between the 245s and 65s. Fenton to his midfield partner from St. Jude's, Tom Laheef. Davy Byrne, pulled back, cornerback, wing back. You can play him anywhere. And again, for me, the, the, this is the way you, I was expecting teams to play against Derry, to have that real patience and avoid the turnovers. Kieran Kilkenny to James McCarthy. Sudden burst of speed with the outside of the boot. The umpires have signaled. I think that's white. What? Uh, but yes, yeah, so, so Dublin ha were holding that quality. They have the quality to, to hold the ball, which is maybe the first time that Derry have come up against a team this year with that level of quality and that level of patience and that level of, of, of awareness of how to play this game and are more than happy playing it. Connor McCluskey. Ethan Doherty. Two Derry footballers that are playing well. Boyd McGrogan at the time to gather, second time. Old McAvoy waiting for it, getting the ball, leaving it for as Ethan Doherty. Connor Glass leaving it to Paddy Cassidy. Dublin now inside their own 45 metre line defending. Cassidy, Glass. Better from Brendan Rogers. Advantage being given, free being given. I always think, and I don't know whether you agree with me, but I know Brendan is great in midfield. But when he comes from a deep defensive role coming forward, he causes all sorts of problems. He's almost like Ethan Rafferty from Armagh, if you know what I mean. But he comes from deep up. Yeah, he's he's brilliant at picking up the the lanes and seeing the weak gaps and then going and whenever he gets going at speed, uh, he always seems to cause trouble. Uh, and certainly that time he seen the wee gap, he seen the one to one, got the shoulder on the opposite side and forced forced the Dublin defender to, to attempt to tackle him and won an important free for his side. Would you play midfield or full back? Uh, at the minute with Owen McAvoy back there, it'd be playing in midfield. Shane McGuigan. Well, we did praise him a while ago, but unfortunately this one, he miscued completely. Yeah, costly. I think that's fifth, fifth way to, to Dublin's two in this game. It's so finely balanced. Derry can't afford to let Dublin too far ahead because then they have to start coming out and force the game and you'll see Dublin just hold the ball and hold the ball and stop taking, stop having to push attacks. Dublin can just hold possession and then Derry start having to come out more. This is better now from Derry in the sense of that they are pushing up on the Dublin kickouts, forcing 
David O'Hanlon to go somewhat short. And Dublin are well able to cope with that kind of pressure. Nick Fitzsimons down towards Conor Callaghan. Going long ball in. Well won by Cormac Costello. Nice turn. Good. Is it over the bar? No. Right and wide. It's Dublin's third wide of the match. And first long ball we've seen kicked in all day. It was fairly speculative, you'd have to say, from, from Con O'Callan. He, he launched it in. And, and Cormac Costello <laughs> won, it, won it very well. He does it after a while, then. There's no problem. <laughs> he, he won it well inside, took, took the shot on the turn. It was a brave effort, but it just tailed wide right at the very end. Good work again by Ethan Doherty. I've seen him play with Glenn, I've seen him play with Jerry. I have to say I value him greatly. His work rate is very impressive. Conor Glass goes long. Tenth opportunity here for nine. Lachlan, oh, the goalkeeper did so well again. Great play. Huge moment. Great save by the keeper, yeah, by David O'Hanlon. Brilliant save. He's pulled off several very, very good saves over the National League so far, but that was a crucial one there. Now McLaughlin, again, Derry won the kick out, and then suddenly there is that wee chance. Glass kicked it in long now, Glockland. I think it was Fitzsim Simons slipped, and so now Glockland had it clean one on one. Massive, massive chance, but uh, brilliantly saved by David O'Hanlon. He's building his reputation, David O'Hanlon. Doing well in the league so far. Has, as uh, Ender mentioned, has made a couple of good saves, but that is the first goal opportunity we've had here at Celtic Park, and it fell to Derry, but O'Hanlon was equal to it. Just about the biggest shoes in the country, maybe, to, 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 to fill in fairness to him. But yes, very, very good save. Big Fit Simons to John Small. Back to Mick again. Kieran Kilkenny. One and under 21 All Ireland back in 2012. Now with seven All-Irelands and nine Leinster, the last time I counted. John Small. That's Dara Newcomb. Another young player that's, uh, as we mentioned earlier, with a growing reputation, is getting his chance from Desi Farrell, and he's taking it. Lee Gallen gives it short, and the effort is going wide. Dublin now have registered four wides in this match so far. This was the goal opportunity that fell to Niall Lachlan. And David O'Hanlon spread himself as wide as possible. He still saved it, no matter how you save it. Any goalkeeper will be happy once they save it, whether it is your knee or your big toe. Meanwhile, it's Paddy Cassidy. Porig McGrogan. Brendan Rodgers coming across to take him as Brian Fenton, leaving Kieran Kilkenny take that responsibility momentarily. Owen McAvoy, Cody Cassidy wants to run from his inside man, Conor McCluskey. Good work by Tom Laheed. McCluskey's under pressure. Sideline ball. I say I thought it might have been going the other way, but Dublin are not protesting, so. We might have a look at that one again as Conor McCluskey was under pressure from the Dublin number nine. The quality of tackling there from Lahif was excellent. A near hand tackle the whole time. Maybe a wee bit unfortunate on the free, but again, brilliant work by Dublin. Dublin are so switched on defensively here. The linesman, by the way, is correct. It is a Derry ball. The ball is dropping in. Easily gathered by Davy Byrne. The hopping ball wasn't going to fool him. That's more familiar territory for Davy, playing a cornerback or wingback. There is a focus and a cleanness to Dublin's play today that, that we probably haven't seen so far this year. And, that, and that, that's coming into a game that you're feeling challenged, that's coming in against a high-quality opposition, then you suddenly go to that cleaner part of your game where everything, everything is important, every touch, every movement, and, and they're producing the good so far today. John Small, James McCarthy, too difficult an angle. Small comes to uh, help him out. Dublin, the back pass, to say the least, was not the best we've ever seen. As Davy Byrne 
was just back outside his own 45 to Owen Merchant. This is where Dublin, Dublin have no, they're, they're 6 2 up. If, if that's the way this half ends, that's absolutely fine by their count. Uh, so Derry have to start pushing them that bit more. Here's Owen Merchant. You might remember his great goal in the All Ireland final replay back in 2019. And he made that surging run. Comes again. And that is going over the bar. Dublin looked a little bit sharper, scored this time by John Small, and their spread of scores is equally impressive. And the Dublin supporters who've travelled in the thousands must be well pleased. Yeah, cut. <laughs> Cormac Costello done so well there, caught it right on the end line, followed it in, and then just patiently turned around, popped it back out, uh, and a fine finish. Again, Derry cannot afford that lead to stretch too much before half time. Back over first point, McGrogan. Spread of scores for Dublin. Two for Brian Fenton, two for Cormac Costello, one for Conor Callaghan, one for John Small and one for Lee Gannon. So there's a nice spread, isn't there, Ender? Yeah, absolutely. They're coming from all over the pitch. For me, the, the stand side of the pitch has been their most productive sort of uh, shooting side. Again, the shot came in that fell short that time, fair enough, but the opening came in on that stand side. Seemed to be a high challenge in party. Referee didn't quite agree. A bit of a handbag stuff afterwards. Derry's. Uh, don't know what happened there. I think Der Dublin were trying to get that free away quick because they realised Derry were well up the pitch. Uh, and then they got slowed down, shall we say. Shane McGuigan. Preventing Lee Gannon of taking the free. Ends up with uh, Kieran Kilkenny. John Small boosted by that point a moment ago. So many of these players coming through the underage ranks, of course, and achieving the highest honours in the game, like John Small, under 21 All Ireland medalist back in 2014, nine years ago. Brian Fenton, Brendan Rogers. Owen Merchant, JV Byrne. Merchant is available, so too is Tom Laheef. Down the right wing is Mick Fitzsimons. Tom Laheef again. Playing the ball. Keeping it between the 45 and 65. They pass the 45. JV Byrne. Niall Lachlan is there to uh, prevent the run any further near Oren Lynch's goalposts. The beauty of Dublin over the last number of years uh, and is the fact that they can play it whatever way they want, long and short. And at the moment, they're just going through a period of retaining possession and being patient. Yeah, absolutely, and it's been working so well for them so far. They have been able to create the pockets. For me, Derry have been sitting a wee bit too deep and inviting them on and making it easier that whenever they do create the pocket, suddenly they're in a shooting place. But uh, certainly Dublin's quality in, in holding the, the possession uh, has been key for them. Conor Callaghan, Davy Byrne, Kieran Kilkenny. Lee Gannon. Very cool with possession. Happy to spray it from one wing to the other to John Small. Connor Glass with it. Here comes Dara Newcomb. And that ball goes well wide of the target. But, and uh, I think you were saying it a moment ago, and just to emphasize it, this is probably Dublin's best. 35 minutes that we've seen so far in the league. Would, you, would that be a fair assessment? I think so. I think they're 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 focused certainly in defence. They're so switched on defensively now. And saying that, they have still had plenty of opportunities, and it's their wides that'll haunt them a wee bit. Uh, but certainly, Dublin are working very very hard. They're covering off the chances. Some of their tackling has been top top drawer. Paul Cassidy, Christy McKay, Paulie Cassidy. Christian McCaig was indicating that Brendan Rodgers 
was available. Here's Brendan. Dublin putting in the challenges once Terry passed the 45. It's a high challenge by Lee Gannon. Let's have a look at it here. First look, I didn't see much in that, but right enough there was, and Sean Hurston indicated it there off screen, that it was the slap to the face. He just caught caught Ethan Doherty on, on, on the jaw. I didn't spot it in real time, in fairness, but Sean, much closer to the action, called it spot on. Important chance for Derry. Funny. It's, uh, McGuigan hit the last one from pretty much the exact same range, but now Toner's lining up this one. McGuigan scored his one from this, the second point, actually. And McGuigan, Shane McGuigan scored it from there. Ethan Doherty is the pair that uh, needs a bit of medical attention. We're looking at Niall Toner. The creator, remember, in, uh, this is Benny Heron that got the goal last year against the Roan County. And here he is, not quite finishing as David O'Hanlon gets a round of applause. <laughs> the Dublin supporters, his 16, have travelled down to this part of Derry City. And away goes Lee Gannon. Owen Merchant. Kieran Kilkenny, Mick Fitzsimons to John Small. It's been the pattern of the first half. In Dublin, well worked their five point lead at the break. 36 and a half minutes played. Probably been Dublin's best opening half through the league. They've been unbeaten, but they just, they seem to have just an added bit of adrenaline, an added bit of diesel in the tank. Derry wondering exactly what they can do in the second half. They've had a lot of wides, which uh, is not uh, a good statistic from their point of view. And at half time, it's Derry two points, Dublin seven. We'll have analysis right after the break. And so it's just uh, across the field yeah, play. Yeah, I think it's a system of play. This is what they're used to being doing and what they're told to do. Is I there think. any room for spontaneity there? Well, well I there think there be. needs to be and there should be. But, you know, if you're you're going through a system of play and being told what to do, I think that's... You Final know. word to you guys. And well, to be, sorry, go I, ahead. I would say Gareth McKinless is going to have to come on because uh, if Derry wanted to breathe a bit of life into their team, he's one man that can, can certainly do that. Yeah, right. and getting Conor Glass on the ball. Let's fly back to Marty and end in the commentary box. Thanks a minute, uh, Jamie. Looking forward to the second half. Um, so Derry have made a change. I've just been told in my headphones. 26 is Garrett McKinless. It's exactly what uh, Peter was saying there too, Damien. He's coming in and that's that's a move that to, to, to kind of uh, solidify the defence. Uh, Absolutely. Well, it'll, it'll strengthen their defence. No doubt about it, but he is a man that will go at Dublin. He will drive with the ball. He will want to lead and bring the game to Dublin. He is a front foot player, and that's what Derry needs at the minute. Do you expect, like what the lads were saying, that Derry will put pressure on the Dublin kickouts a lot more because they've been lacklustre in that area, haven't they? Yes, they, 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 they don't really have a choice. They're five points down. They can't afford Dublin have... They can't afford to just give Dublin prolonged periods of possession. Here's Connor Glass. Giving it to his midfield partner, Brendan Rogers. They need a lot more energy, a lot more incisiveness, particularly going forward. Shooting needs to be improved, although we give credit for them at least having a goal. But that having been said, they need uh, to get scores on the board very quickly here now and put the visitors under a lot more pressure. Old McAvoy. First effort. Dropping in, easily gathered. Good hands by David O'Hanlon. Ends up with Owen Merchant. Kieran Kilkenny. Getting away from Niall Lachlan. Rickford Simons giving it to Lee Gannon. Coming forward is Tom Lahith, nice return pass. Lahith takes his point and joins Brian Fenton, his midfield colleague on the score sheet. And between them, they've now scored three points. Two for Brian Fenton, one for Tom Lahith. Yeah, probably the easiest score of the day for, for Dublin, really there. A very simple one-two. And Lahith got 
right down the, the, the throat of, of the Derry defence. So worrying from Derry and maybe a sign if, if they are starting to push out, that's what they can't afford. They can't afford to be coughing up easy scores at the other end. Ethan Darty to Niall Lachlan. Darty's gone inside. And that's a good ball from Lachlan on the run. With the inside of the boat, he slices the pulse beautifully. Good score by Ethan Darty. And another so from a first half where every score was so worked, there's two scores, what, within a minute of each other? Mm -hmm. Surprisingly easy from the really uh, sort of tight defensive play. Ethan Doherty got away there. It was a tough enough shot, in fairness to him. Really, really well taken. Kieran Kilkenny. Giving it back to Davy Byrne. Back again to the naval of player from Sandyford in Dublin. John Small. Tom Laheef, who got that point a moment ago. Good work by Benny Heron, he's back there, helping out his defence. Ball vacuumed up by John Small to Mick Fitzsimons. Davy Byrne again, down towards Lee Gannon. South side to north side. Conor Callaghan, Davy Byrne, Owen Merchant. To Mick Fitzsimons. Eight All Ireland medalists, ten Leinsters, three or four All Stars in the glittering career. Hit the roof. <laughs> Even Mick can afford a smile. Really good defensive play by Derry. S sitting, they, they pushed slightly higher out there. They, they started to put pressure on Dublin from within the 65-yard line, but then kept really disciplined shape right around the outside and got the turnover. Connor Glass feeding on McAvoy. Brendan Rogers. Never played minor or under 21 for his county, but look at him now. Emerged to be a fine footballer. Hurler as well. Shane McGuigan under pressure. Tom Laheath did well to retain it. Owen McAvoy. He has the space here to have a go, but I think he'd rather one of the shooters like Ethan Doherty get inside. That's good work by Ethan Doherty. Connor Doherty is there to uh, help him out, no relation. Over towards McGuigan. Nice little dummy. Christian McCain. Connor Glass. Referee is gone and Swiss. Free for Derry. Larkin O'Dell is questioning the decision. With the challenge on Christian McCain. That left hand was around the neck. That's the reason why. Style. Good score as well off the boot of Niall Lachlan. Really impressive there. <laughs> Maybe it's a strange thing to, to feel it's impressive. But Owen McAvoy, young 19 year old who's been superb for Derry so far, playing full back, got up there and got a real good opening to take a shot. But uh, something I was speaking about in the first half, he didn't fancy it. He obviously didn't feel he could have absolutely took the pot shot. He might well have scored, but he just didn't feel it was the right time to be taking a chance, which he didn't back himself on. But he, he recycled possession really well. They worked it over and they won a, a free where one of their shooters got the score. One senses that the intensity is going to increase, and when there is a bit of, I won't say even handbag stuff, but shoving and pushing in the middle of the field, there is a response from the Derry crowd. This is more like it from Derry. And again, much, much higher up the pitch than, than where they were sitting in the first half. They were tackling that. Connor Glass chased down two, three men there in the midfield between the two 65s and then back there. Dublin were unsettled. They got three, four men around the ball, got the turnover. So much better from Derry. Conor McCluskey. Coming forward, Owen McAvoy. Two Mahara Feldpoys. Giving it to Brendan Rogers. Ethan Dart. Rogers was anticipating the return pass, 
But Ethan Dorji couldn't give it back, and there's a turnover by Dublin. Good work by John Small. Brilliant work by John Small there. Goalkeeper is making a dash back. That's Owen Lynch. Kieran Kilkenny over for as Dean Rock has a goal from way out the field, but that is well wide of the target. There goes Owen Lynch. Chrissy McCaig. Connor McCluskey. Tackled by Dean Rock. Connor Doherty is fouled. And Niall Scully is coming on for Dublin. And a change in the Dublin attack. And uh, player that's going off is Larkin O'Dell. As a switch, those two fellas started and Larkin O'Dell had come in and placed an Al Scully in there, that's swapped around, so... Another truck full of Valerian medals onto the pitch. And an all-star. Pouring McGrogan. Good pressure by Dublin. Well won back by Conor Callaghan. Kieran Kilkenny looks around at options. He always seems to have the time with the ball. John Small, Kieran Kilkenny is to his immediate right, who gave that initial pass. There's Kieran. Tom Lahif. Lee Gannon. Paul Cassidy, staying goal side. Lee Gannon having a shot. And Lee Gannon getting a second point of the game. He's no ordinary corner back. He only emerged in 2022. But he's a footballer that will surely be part of Desi Farrell's plans for the championship of 2023. Yeah, cornerbacks are misbehaving an awful lot in this league. All, all the old cliches about that. That's a shot typical of a cornerback has now went out the window. We've seen awesome goals from them last week in Castle Bar. And there's a fine score to go with his one in the first half. Shane McGregor got a touch, pushed from the back. And Connor Glass, referee has blown his whistle. The official attendance, by the way, is 12,077. And when they do give vent to their voices, particularly when Derry are doing something good on the field, you can hear that volume as every seat is taken, hoping for something a little bit better in the second half from the home side, obviously. Brendan Rogers. Owen McAvoy making himself available. Good run by Rogers. Shane McGuigan. Gareth McKinless coming from that centre back. Great run by McKinless into the centre. Surely there's an opportunity. And the ball is in the net. It's Terry back in the game. My corner to get the last touch. Created by Brendan Rogers with those surging runs. Not from deep down this time but from around the midfield area. Garrett McKinless, defender, came on. The ball came loose and available, and there was Niall Toner to toe poke it into the back of the net. And now we have a game in Celtic Park as Toner arrived late on the bus, but he got the magic touch. Yeah, that front foot player that we mentioned about whenever we've seen him come off, Garrett, Gareth McKinless just went, took the initiative and went, went, went hard at the Dublin uh, defence, created the chance. Eventually, it, it, it came out to... Uh, Nell Toner and he dispatched it, but exactly what the game needed that goal. We've had a wee bit of a, a schmuzzle, shall we say, in, in, in the middle, just as people came out and met each other after that score. But absolutely, it'll, it'll ignite the crowd a wee bit. It gives Derry, Derry is now within striking distance of Dublin. It's really well balanced at this stage. Yeah, yellow card for Tom Naheef and uh, Garrett McKinless as we watch to see what happened here. Messing around on the 45, right under the eye of the referee, Sean Hurston, and he did the right thing. Now listen to the crowd of 12,077. Derek, back in the game. Dublin. Take the hit that Brendan Rogers gave to Conor Callan, and that's going to be a free for Dublin. 
whenever the blood gets up in a game like that and there's a break ball around midfield, I, I always think it, you're looking for the players that can win those ball. And there's Con O'Callaghan, and he's won a couple of balls back in his own defence in today's game. And there he is, he drove in, won the break ball, got up. And again, just when a game's in the melting pot, that's when you want your big players to stand up, win dirty ball, as they're called, around the middle. And that time Dublin got their hands on it to try and settle down. They'll be looking to settle this game down to another wee bit, kill it a wee bit, kill the dairy momentum that's with them at the minute. I wouldn't be surprised at all if, if Dublin just go quite slow with this attack, just to hold the ball maybe a minute, maybe a minute, minute and a half. Benny Heron has picked up an injury as well. Now in his ninth season with his county. Continues to give great service. Kieran Kilkenny. Back into the centre towards Owen Merchant. Great burst of speed. Small, always beside him. Tom Laheath. Davy Byrne. Mick Fitzsimons. Lee Gannett. Defender with two points on the score sheet. Davy Byrne. Brian Fenton comes out from that right wing pocket. He seemed to reside in the first half to take control around midfield again. Kieran Kilkenny. And uh, I think you have the lot of numbers as well because you predicted this that this would be slow, and it is slow. Yeah, absolutely, but Dublin, the, the crowd's quieter. And it, it's just sometimes it's about killing killing momentum. You can do it a couple of ways. Tape, tape, some teams will go down injured and whatnot. Dublin are holding possession. You can see Kieran Kilkenny's got his hands in the ball a number of times in this, this game. And again, here he is. Again, no rush at all. Kieran Kilkenny to James McCarthy. Brian Fenton to Kieran Kilkenny. Davy Byrne is looking for it. Former Costello. Mick Fitzsimons. Having a pop from there is just wide of the target. He looked good initially from Lee Gannon. But he's a confident player, isn't he? And I mean, that, that's not a normal cornerback position to have a goal from. No, his last shot over from that stand side was not a normal cornerback shot because there was actually forwards uh, sort of ahead of the ball. Maybe it wasn't seen on camera, but there was ahead of the ball. There was, and he just ignored them and took the shot. Scored that last time. That there one wasn't far away at all. And with his feet, absolutely go on ahead and back yourself. Uh, it looked very, very close, but it just tailed right at the end. But really disciplined attacking play by Dublin. As you saw, Oshin McWilliams from Swatra. Uh, he's back, he's on the field now instead of Benny Hearn, he's replaced him. As Derry go forward and the crowd get behind them. This is Connor Doherty. Gets by the initial challenge. Whoops, taking a little bit too fast and losing the possession. Picked up by Brian Fenton. Better pressure from Derry. They didn't win it, but they're putting in the effort. Owen Merchant. Lee Gannon is running beside him. Nice ball inside, and it just carried a little lucky, too much Lucky, pace. lucky, but by there was a, a little touch. Conor McCluskey got the touch. Yeah, so, so Derry had pushed out there more, and they did get good pressure on, but it left them open at the back. The fist pass went in over the top, and McCluskey not, not seeing it at all. It came off the hand. If that had it went on ahead, Karma Costello was driving hard at the net. I just... Yeah. I, I see you'll, what, you'll, you'll what take you mean, that and, bit of luck. Uh, a bit of luck, exactly. I see what you mean. Dean Rock going to take this uh, 45. But, you know, just thinking here, Enda, you can't beat experience because having conceded the goal... They're away from home, and they've got back in control by slowing it down. The very point you made. Yeah, and that, and that, that control is so, so key. Experience. 
We don't like the booing. No need for it. As Gene Rock takes this, and the goalkeeper watched it all the way. And Oren Lynch concedes another 45. There you had five people lined up in front of Dean Rock that time with the hands all up in the air. Beautiful picture of the flight of the ball. And it was just about to hit the post. I don't blame Oren Lynch. He did the right thing. Had to make sure. Yeah, you can see he's just frustrated at himself there, but it's such a it's such a tight call in there. And the, that ball was turning all the time. And again, Dean Rock faces the, the line of dairy men in front of him. Seven All-Irelands and ten Leinsters and six National Football Leagues. 33 years of age, Dean Rock. Dad Barney was a great footballer as well. As Dean drops this in, and it's an easy ball for Lynch. Now, can Derek counter-attack speedily? Paul Cassidy. Gareth McKinless to his goalkeeper. Palpitations. And I'm not even from Derry, but uh, it was a bit worrying. Brendan Rogers. Great running again by Connor McCluskey. He deserves a bit of luck with that 45 he conceded. He didn't even see the ball. He's worked hard. Ethan Darty. Good footballer. Paul Cassidy. Cutting inside, but Ethan retains the possession. Connor Darty. He's going to have a goal. He's going to drop it in. He's going to score a point. Ulster under 20 winning captain in 2018. He's emerging from the underage ranks in recent times. And you can see why. Now that is a really good score. Yeah, massive score. Really took on the responsibility on himself. Key sort of moment in the game, these sort of middle 10 minutes of, of the second half. The game's right on an edge. Warren Lynch here, we can see him for the first time in the game pushing out on the on the Dublin kickout. But once again, brilliant kickout by David O'Hanlon. He's finding his men, I have to say, in those kickouts, and then I know that's the point you we're emphasizing. Here's a nice ball inside towards former Castello. Taking it off. Good defending, Derek. Great defending. They lose the possession, but now they're throwing their bodies for the, the one doing in the first half. Great work by Gareth McKinless, but full marks, 10 out of 10, for sheer bravery and determination by Gary. Watch this. It is that man again, Conor McCluskey. No luck Bravely that time. Down. No, no. That's no luck that time. Brilliant, brilliant skill. Cormac Coslow had went sort of a blindside run in off. Kieran Kilkenny had led it in. He was driving in. Brilliant block. A game just on a knife edge. It's just fizzing. The crowd's fizzing here. It's brilliant. Five points down at the break. Now, just one between them. Nile Turner's goal. Connor Doherty's point. The momentum. The pendulum swinging towards Derry at the moment, but the pass just goes wrong here. And that's a wide ball. Gareth McKinless cannot believe it. I can't actually believe they are so amazingly they're in tune with each other in terms of their movements and in terms of their runs and all the other games certainly as a hallmark that time really strangely Cardiff and Kinless went for the blindside run but it just never happened uh, and it went wide Ethan Doherty, Derek get the ball from the break at midfield options available left and right a score here and you'll hear them roaring and shouting all across the county and all across the province it's Paul Cassidy with his second point of the game. And look at the scoreboard. Look at the delight. It's 1-6 Derry. Nine points Dublin. It's not the championship. It's only the league. But this is all about passion and pride now. And it's brilliant to see. It's brilliant to be here watching it. But Paul Cassidy, again, fantastic. Sort of back to goal almost. Hooked it up and over high. Landed the great score. Derry now back level. They'll be renewed energy about them, renewed fight about them, maybe that they didn't bring in the first half, they're bringing it now. Niall Scully gets his first touch. Good running by James McCarthy. Still James battling away. Connor Glass, shoulder to shoulder, hip to hip. This time won by Dublin. Kieran Kilkenny giving it back. Waiting for it is John Small. Brian Finton, just outside the Derry, 45 metre line, just inside it now, as you can see. Getting past the initial challenge, laying it back for his Lee Gannett. He could score from there if he thought about it. Gives it towards corner forward, Conor Callan. 
Lee Gannon again, and they'll slow it down in an effort to stop the momentum. Open on the far side. Yeah. Very open. Kieran Kilkenny having a shot and just taking the paint off the crossbar and the fingertips of Oren Lynch. It's Kieran Kilkenny's first point in this league encounter. Again, we've seen it a few times in the first half. I'm a wee bit surprised at it, but they have been guilty at times of, of just leaving the side completely open. And Dublin, with all their experience and the quality they have on the pitch, they're able to spot those gaps and they've punished them more often than not. Dean Rock heading off. It certainly hasn't been his night. He's been uncharacteristic, missed a few frees, took a shot earlier from out on the right hand side and it didn't even go dead. So for once, Dean Rock's feet has let him down. Sean Lowry from St Vincent's is on instead of Dean Rock. Sideline wall for Dublin, despite the best efforts of Paul Cassidy. Lee Gannon takes it quickly. John Small, better pressure from Derek. No free given. Small, this is more like it. This is what Rory Gallagher wanted at half time. Derek McKinless wins himself a free. He's made a huge difference, I have to say. He's thrown his body around and given the momentum and there's acres of Celtic Park available for Brendan Rodgers trying to get away from three Dublin players into the centre to Shane McGuigan he thought momentarily to have a goal gives it across as Jerry retained the possession now Ethan Doherty covering every centimetre every blade of grass I think Ethan Doherty has been around it at the moment lovely like old fashioned dummy he hits a ball and it comes inside the post Brilliant play, Derek. Arshin McWilliams, brilliant, brilliant score. Beautiful strike of the ball out that left-hand side. Just crept over the bar, but again, it was this show and go inside. Beautiful wee bit of skill. Oh, great score. Showing the ball, moving, the, swerving the hips. It was the old-fashioned style, but it works for Arshin McWilliams. Advantage, says the referee, off camera. Here comes right half back Conor Doherty. Didn't connect. The referee will blow his whistle back and bring the uh, play back so the free can be taken. Could be a wee black card here. Shane McGuigan, I think he got, he gave the ball and then he got taken out of it a wee bit or else it certainly collided afterwards. So it's either going to be a yellow or a black for, for Mick Fitzsimmons here. But again, the man winning that ball in the middle for Derry, Gareth McKinless, as you said, he's made a massive difference. Had a huge hand in their goal, and he's won just so much sort of hard-won ball in the middle. Yeah, there's the incident there. Good refereeing by Sean Hurston, it must be said, because he allowed the play to continue on because the momentum was there. As Derry now introduce Lachlan Murray, and Niall Turner, who scored the goal, is the player that's making way. Lachlan Murray, an All-Ireland minor winner, won a junior club title with his native uh, Desert Martin last year and uh, now playing with Swatra. That's Owen, Owen Lynch gives it. Great running by Brendan Rogers. Love that swerve. He's heading towards the 20. Lays it off towards Paul Cassidy. Take it down. Referee says no free. I don't think Dublin are protesting. John Small is protesting. And he's now given the free. Which means the Derry players, or the Dublin players, must have heard the whistle because I didn't. No, there was a whistle, but Sean Hurston didn't immediately sort of indicate which way it went. But it, look, it's fair enough. John Small came in and Paul Cassidy tried to sidestep him. And just there was a, a clash of the legs that, that caused Cassidy to go down. Rory Gallard be delighted, like, think think of the position that they were in at half-time, think of the questions whenever they're behind, can they come out, can they, they go after a game, well, they've certainly done that, the switch of Gareth McKinless has been huge in that, in fairness, uh, but the players are stepping off, have got some wonderful scores where in the first half they were missing chances, I mentioned to you off, Mike, I've got a text from a journalist and he was saying, there's a score and end, is this end down into the dressing rooms and certainly it's, it's looking like that, Derry missing the shots in the first half, they're nailing them in this half. It's a strange phenomenon in Gaelic games, I always think, and uh, there's a scoring goals in most pitches and I never quite understand it. 
And, yeah, I, and you've played here many times. Obviously. And I've and, and I've never quite found the score in the end of most <laughs> pitches here. Now, in fairness, you did. Don't be so modest, uh, Enda McGinley. Three times an All Ireland medalist as Brendan Rogers looks around. It's Garrett McKinless. It's swerving to the left and wide. Scoreline remains the same, 1-7 to 10. And you had meant. And you had mentioned it earlier, Marty, about Derry's need to push up on the kick out, and here they are. They are pushed up hard on the kick out. Oren Lynch out in front of us here as well, killing a wee bit of space. Kick out from David O'Hanlon. James McCarthy. Ball at the far side is the ideal one, but uh, that uh, has now been blocked as Pascal makes a bit of space. He's been introduced, and that is flying between the posts and over the bar. It's a very, very good score by Colin Bascal. And that's the wonderful balance we get in the modern game when teams, they want to go out, they have to chase the game or, or they're trying to push for the win. They're putting the opposition under pressure and then suddenly the, open, the openings come in behind that time. There's, there was acres of space in behind. There was actually a threatening man, I don't know who he was, over the far wing had went and he had inside the 45 to goals completely to himself. He wasn't spotted, but they did release Pascal and he got the point, but that's the balance the teams are trying to get, how much to press, how much how much to cover at the back. Brennan Rogers, Niall Scully staying with him and did enough to put him off. Those simple turnovers are now crucial in a game that is so tight. Just one point between the teams. Brian Fenton, Davy Byrne, Kieran Kilkenny, gone for the return pass. Conor Callaghan knew that Kilkenny was there. He's got inside the cover and he fits this over the bar. It's his second point of the match. Brilliant, brilliant score, but the game was right there. The fist pass across the square to Coslo, I think it was on the edge of the square, was open. He didn't choose to take it, he just fisted it over the bar, but it was a fantastic move. I would have loved if it had a finish. The, the move nearly deserved a goal at the end of it, and it was there. But Kieran Kilkenny, as he so often does, almost frustratingly so, took the ultra sensible option and fisted it over the point. James McCarthy going off, Brian Howard from Rohini is on. But to go back to the, where that point came from, that was a turnover, a very simple turnover. Yeah, so Brent, uh, I think it was Brenton Rogers got tripped up a wee bit on the ball. Brent, uh, unlike him, he, he's had a fantastic game so so far this evening, but just that time got caught in possession. And as teams do, as a team of Dublin's quality certainly do, whenever you make mistakes like that, particularly at this stage in the game, they really look to punish you. Oren Lynch. Nice ball. The tension of the play. Ball was so crucial there. Good ball inside, but then Derry just about get the possession. There's an opportunity here, perhaps, as they try and create the space shortly. The Derry man was being fouled. That's Lorcan Murray. I don't think that was a dive, uh, as Conor Callan is indicating. It was just a little trip, accidental as it may be, but there was a little touch. Yeah, his leg got caught, Scully's legs and his got caught up and went down but he done phenomenally well to win that ball actually Lachlan Murray Shane McGuigan picking this over the bar for a second point just one point between the teams again five minutes left and there will be a little bit extra as Shane Downey comes on Lavi footballer and the player that's going off his own McAvoy as Rory Gallagher makes the changes to try and swing the game their way. Putting the pressure on the kick out with the result that David O'Hanlon has no option but to go long. Brendan Rogers somehow in the middle of all that got the ball. Connor Glass looking around at options available to it. Brendan Rogers. Connor Glass has gone forward. Rogers heading towards that 45 metre line. Ethan Doherty. 
Slipping one along the ground and did well. Shane McGuigan, there's an opportunity here. In comes the challenge. And Nick Simons was coming in at speed. He cannot believe that uh, the referee has given a free here, but I think there is no doubt. The ball inside from McGuigan. And here comes Nick Simons. And there's a chance to level the game once again for the second time. No doubt about the free. McGuigan going for his third point to level the match with three minutes to go. Never in any doubt. And we've got the grandstand finish that we all wanted, all square with three and probably three or four at least of, of injury time to play. Top of the table clash in Division 2. Dublin unbeaten. Jerry unbeaten. A crowd of 12,077. There is a buzz around this beautiful city and county, and it's reflected now in this climax to this Allianz League game. Colin Basquiat. <laughs> Good try by Niall Scully, but didn't quite come off. Sideline ball. So the sideline ball is going to be taken just outside the Derry 20 metre line. Forig McGrogan. Derry down by five points at half time. Seven points to two. Now find himself level. There's Rogers. What an engine. Jewel star from Schlock Neal. Is it possible that Derry could win this? Murray with the shot. Murray with the lead, with two minutes to go. Lachlan Murray from Swatra, and now the Derry crowd are on their feet. The Ulster champions are showing tremendous character against the Dubs. 1-10 Derry, 12 points Dublin, a minute and a half to go. Now it's up to Dublin. They were coasting it in the first half, in control. Niall Scully. Looking around to see who's available. Karma Costello, two first half points. Cullen Basca, one point second half. Brian Fenton, two points first half. Nick Fitzsimons, great game, including a yellow card. To give it back to Fenton. Cullen Basca in the center, John Small. Heading towards the 20 meter line. Just took his eye off it. Some, <laughs> some crowd here underneath me were saying that was off the ground. Referee didn't spot it, even if it was. John Small kicks it back into the middle. <laughs> Brian Howard. Mick Fitzsimons. Dublin, having led by five, now find themselves searching for an equaliser with 15 seconds left or thereabouts on the clock. There will be injury time. Colin Pascal getting inside the D. No free given. Away he goes again. Heading towards the 13. Scrambles it free. Ball is loose. Who has it? It's a mad scramble down at the Brandywell end. And the referee has blown his whistle. It's heart-stopping stuff. It's brilliant stuff. Like for National League, sitting pretty much a sellout in Celtic Park here and just the two teams absolutely throwing everything. The second half has been phenomenal, to be fair. And now Four a big ball left. to be won. Is, are we going to get Glass versus Fenton? Lovely. We are. I need a lot of numbers off you tonight, and uh, Hunter Glass against Brian Fenton. Battle of the two number eights. And away goes Ethan Darty. And the referee has blown his whistle. And he's given a free to Dublin. Yeah, I think a Dublin player was coming in to tackle and got taken out. Glass here just sheltered. Sheltered Ethan Doherty. Sean Hershon seen it. Big call by Sean Hershon in fairness, but gives Dublin obviously a guilt edge chance to, to level it. Correct call, harsh call. 
Uh, depends how honest you feel or how clever you feel Connor Glass is. Uh, I think Connor Glass had a wee glance. He realised he didn't do it. It wasn't blatant, but I think he certainly knew what he was doing. This to level the match for the third time. Cormac Costello going for points number three. Sails between the posts and over the bar. Derry won 10. Dublin 13 points. Three minutes, less than three minutes to go in injury time. In for 15, Derry. Now Lachlan is uh, making way. Has Derry make a change? Now Toner is coming back on, we think. Let's see. Let's continue on with the action. Oren Lynch goes for distance. Punched down. Derry have it. Momentarily. Comes back to Connor Glass. Now it's possession. So crucial. Minute and a half to go. Is there a winner in Celtic Park? Who has the leadership? Who has the guts to have a goal? Brendan Rodgers. Hoping to create that moment. Here comes the shot from McGuigan. It was a bit optimistic from there. Full credit for trying, but possibly in hindsight, might have been better to play it around a little bit more. Yeah, well, the key is supposed to, is at the very least to, to put it dead. He's the right man to be shooting. He could score it. Brent Rogers again, that drive that we've seen so often in this game, getting up the pitch, getting Derry up the pitch, getting that field position and setting up uh, McGuigan for the chance. Kieran Kilkenny. Forty seconds left. Mick Fitzsimons to Davy Byrne. Back to Kieran Kilkenny. Happy perhaps to get a draw out of Celtic Park and remain unbeaten. Cormac Costello, own merchant. We had an interesting, intriguing first half. We've had a pulsating second period. Mick Fitzsimons. Davy Byrne under pressure and Derrick win the possession back. Great work by Derrick. Ethan Darty. Free to Derrick. We're on the 74th minute. It's now at the discretion of the referee. How much time will he give? This was Garrett McKinless coming through here. Yeah. I challenged by Mick Fitzsimons, and he gets a second yellow and a red. I know. I would go as far as to say as Mick Fitzsimons knew exactly what he was doing. Derry had got the turnover at that stage in the game. It stopped the attack. Unfortunately for him, he had already got the yellow card. But Derry have this sort of a shot to nothing here. Go for the win. If it's turned over, it'll probably be game over. Connor McCluskey, 12,077. People on their, standing on their feet right now. Brendan Rogers trying to work into a scorable position. They have it. There's a chance. The Dubs are beaten, perhaps. And Brendan Rogers has secured victory. Look at the crowd. They're delighted. Brendan Rogers, these brilliant, incisive runs causing problems. And Dublin are beaten at the deck. They were in front by five points at half time. Such character by Derry. Such leadership by Rory Callagher to bring back that Derry team on home soil to achieve a victory. And the fireworks are here. Beautiful night in Derry, and they will celebrate a great win as the crowd come on to the pitch to celebrate their heroes. Brilliant, brilliant win by Derry. As it happened, Brenton Rogers, who had a phenomenal game, in fairness, took so much of the drive and in that time skipped through and had the composure to go and, and finish with a score. But the crowd in the far stand, like from here in the layup, you can see them jumping up and down. The entire stand jumping up and down to celebrate a score at the end. Happy man there, Rory Gallagher, Oren Lynch. A phenomenal performance by Derry. Answered some of the questions, some of the big thing that came out of last year's championship. We knew how good they are when they're playing and they're defending and they're leading the game and they can drive on ahead and pummel teams. But today they were asked much harder questions by Dublin coming from five, was five points down, I think it was at half time. 7-2, yeah. Uh, 
So whittled away, the goal obviously a massive, massive score where McKinless had a massive hand. So again, Rory Gallagher, he is having a phenomenal time of there at the minute. His change at halftime worked to tweak, tweak the balance of the squad. Arshin McWilliams, another sub, came on and got the score. Brilliant scenes. They'll be doing it all over again, probably in the league final of Division 2. You would imagine at this stage that game will probably be a very different tone to it. But certainly tonight we were treated to a superb game and a fine example of the modern National League, a phenomenal competition. Enter McGinley with me today. We loved it. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Beautiful evening in Derry. It's only the first weekend in March. It's not the championship, it's the league. But we had a thriller. Full-time score, Derry, 1-11, Dublin, 13 points.